When you're traveling, do you ever want a hotel room that feels more like an apartment with kitchen and laundry, but isn't as random as booking an Airbnb where every stay is completely different? Well, the short-term rental service Sonder wants to be the answer to that question for people and travelers like you. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter with my review of Sonder, which is a short-term apartment rental service that aims to give you the amenities that a lot of hotels don't have, but give you consistency that Airbnb lacks. I recently booked a Sonder apartment in New York City, and having stayed here for a while can say they try to take the best from hotels and the best from Airbnb, but the end result, the end result isn't as good as it could be. Sonder was founded in 2014 and after a major disruption of business in 2020 due to the COVID pandemic, now operates in 40 cities around the world. Ever since then, they've been expanding aggressively and aim to be the Airbnb of hotels, if that makes sense. Sonder basically buys up apartments in cities where it operates, then registers them as hotels. This one in New York City looks a lot like a hotel from the outside, but when you walk in, you find mailboxes for individual rentals like you would in an apartment, though there are boxes where you can pick up individual toiletries, like a hotel. Many Sonder rentals have kitchens, refrigerators, and laundry machines, but that's not always the case, so you'll want to review the specific rental amenities before booking. Speaking of booking, one thing Sonder does really well is the booking experience. You can search for apartments on their site or mobile app, and rentals can be booked for days, weeks, or months. Trying to figure out what's available though isn't always as clear as it could be as Sonder likes to show you a lot of choices in a given location without automatically removing options that are already booked. Once you do find a place though, Sonder lists out the total price you'll end up paying including taxes, fees, and any discounts. Having that final total fee listed for you makes for a really nice booking experience on Sonder, whereas on sites like Airbnb, sometimes you get those cleaning fees thrown in which are a lot. They're sometimes as much as the rental rate itself. So having that final total price there really makes for a nice experience. You know exactly how much you're going to pay when you're searching. And once you put in all of your details for your trip, you know how much you're going to pay, what the nightly rate is, and any discounts as well that are available. Check-in and check-out times are similar to hotels, and you can adjust them by a few hours for a small fee if you're arriving early or need a late checkout. Setting up an account is relatively easy. There is an ID check that they do, which basically involves you taking a picture of your license or passport and uploading it to their site, as well as taking a few pictures of yourself so you can upload those for further confirmation. A nice perk of setting up and having a Sonder account is when you're booking through the site, you're often given some kind of small discount for your next stay. Since having an account with them is free and you have to do it to book anyway, it just really makes sense and it's a nice way to start your Sonder experience. Once you've booked, the Sonder app is the best way to manage your stay. You'll get the access code to your building and your room, as well as the option to use your phone as a mobile key you tap to get inside. The process is all very hands-off, you don't need to go to the front desk, you basically just show up, get yourself into your room, and it's pretty straightforward from there. Also in the app are convenient things like the address and requests for services like cleaning or where you can report any issues. You can also get in touch with support who are quick to respond and everything else you need like Wi-Fi passwords are all in the app as well. Speaking of Wi-Fi passwords and the internet, it is actually really fast. So you're getting about 350 megabits down, at least I'm getting that in this Sonder, and a reasonable, not bad, 20 megabits upload. The apartments do vary, so if you're looking at a Sonder, especially of a stay for over more than a few days, it's likely you'll want one with a kitchen and laundry, so just make sure that those are available in the rooms that you're looking at. The rooms, particularly for New York City, are spacious and there's a lot of closet space. The cleaning staff also did a good job of having the room ready before I arrived and getting settled in was a smooth experience. There are a bunch of cupboards with some dishes, pots, pans, and silverware, but in general, things are pretty spartan. There's a coffee maker, but no kettle for hot water, for example, a table, flat screen TV, and a couple of chairs. Now the bed, the bed is fairly comfortable, but there are a few things around this apartment that really make it feel more like a hotel. First thing is, these are small things, but things I want to show you, the floors. You can see the floors are, they're pretty scratched up. I also noticed this lamp, which is broken here. Again, these are small little things, but just things that remind you, it just makes it feel more like a, a hotel. And then also the router, it's just there on the floor. No table, nothing. It's very Spartan, like I said. It's just kind of hanging out there on the floor doing its own thing. 
and the drawer. This drawer doesn't close all the way, it's broken. Again, these are all little small things, but things that remind you more that this is a hotel more than an apartment. It just gives you more of that sort of transient feel. People are staying here for shorter stays and just kind of using it and abusing it. Sonder isn't like the Blue Ground, but premium long-term apartment rental service I've reviewed and will link to in the description below. But the Blue Ground, for example, has furniture, kitchen, and appliances that are all in better quality, and the shortest term rental is one month which in theory means there are fewer people staying there over periods of time, and there's just less wear and tear on the living space. Like I said, Sonder sits in between the space of hotels and Airbnb, and even though it competes directly with them, you will find Sonder properties listed on sites like Airbnb and Verbo, but if you do find a Sonder that you like, it's best to book with them directly for the lowest rates and to be eligible for any discounts they offer. So although you can rent a Sonder for over 30 days and you get discounts for longer stays, over 45 days you get the biggest discounts. I'm not sure it's the best long-term rental option for you. So if you're traveling for a long period of time and you want something for like two or three months, I'm not sure that a Sonder would be the best option for you in all of its locations. To me, Sonder is a good option for more expensive cities like New York City, where you're going to be staying for more than a few days. I think the sweet spot of a Sonder might be like one to two weeks of a stay where you're going to take advantage of the kitchen and you can stock up and save money on food, for example. You can also save money on doing laundry because doing laundry at hotels is really, really expensive. So like I said, I think that sweet spot is like one to two weeks for a Sonder, especially in more expensive cities. Sonder's rates are pretty competitive with hotels. So comparing New York City, the hotel room rate for a Sonder and the hotel room rate for a hotel nearby is very, very close. There's not a huge difference between them. I'd say Sonder's maybe a little bit more expensive. You can find cheaper hotels, but you're not going to find a hotel with this kind of space, with a kitchen, laundry, a gym, all of those things. You're not going to find that in a hotel and at least be paying the price that I'm paying for this Sonder. Sonder is an option to check out if you want that hotel experience, but also some of the perks like having a kitchen that might save you money over the long term. Now, Sonders are usually located in pretty popular and touristic parts of the major cities where it's located, so doing some price comparisons with nearby hotels isn't a bad idea. For longer stays though, I think of like two week range or 10 day or more, I think you're probably going to want to check out some other long term rental options and compare with Sonder. You probably get more perks, you probably get a nicer living experience. It may cost more, but it might also feel more like home. That's my review of Sonder. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I'll see you in the next video.